All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on gfxcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a car chase scene um, type of thing and uh, we are going to be starting all the way from here Roblox Studio to Blender um, finish the scene and move on to Photoshop for the post effects so as you can see I have a bridge model this is a free model um, this is this one right here I just looked up bridge you can use whichever one you want but uh, this is the one that I'm going to be using so Let's right click and go to export and now you just want to save it wherever you want and give it a name. I'm just going to call it bridge and hit OK. And uh, now we're going to move on to Blender. Alright, so here we are. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to hit A on your keyboard to select all these objects and hit X and just click delete right over here. So now you want to go up to file, go to import, wavefront object file and uh, you want to select your bridge object file so here it is and you want to hit import and if we zoom out it is right over here I am just going to go to object to set origin origin to geometry alright so here is our bridge model um, if we go to our render settings I am using Eevee I'm gonna turn on ambient occlusion and bloom screen space reflections as you can see so the angle we are going to be going for is something like this, I guess. Yeah. I'm also going to make the model smaller, so there we go. Let's make it a bunch smaller. Lower it down. So here we have it. And uh, we're going to be going for an angle, something like this. So we're going to go into our render view. There we go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an XGI. So I'm going to click here, click on the circle, go to environment texture, hit open. And uh, to download XGI, you can just you can just find them online. I'm going to go back to my render settings, go to film. I'm going to turn on transparent because I plan on adding my own custom sky once we are in Photoshop. So here we are. All right, now we are going to work on uh, the materials we're gonna get head into shading tab so um, you want to click on the bridge model go up here go to edit select on the bridge um, make sure you're in face select mode click on the bridge and we're gonna go into our material properties and uh, we're gonna go back to the object mode you just want to now you just want to adjust these settings right over here All right now we are going to click edit mode do the same thing for the uh, actual bridge structure the railings I'm going to turn metallic up turn specular up the roughness as you can see the difference alright once you are done with that um, now we are going to need some car models so we're gonna go back to Roblox Studio. We're gonna grab some car models and we're going to be right back. Alright, so I've just imported a car as you can see. Let me just bring it up and bring it right over here. Uh, we gotta zoom out. Zoom out and let's just resize it. As you can see, let's place it right here. Boom rotate it let's put it right here and we're probably gonna have a cop core behind we're gonna go to shift a and add a camera and you want to hit zero on your number pad so it's not the number keys on the top row of your keyboard it's on the right side so this is gonna put us in the camera view and we're just going to move ourselves to the scene and you want to set up your camera as you want so I wanted something like this. It's up to you really, but just set it up however you want. 
let's just do this. And uh, for the core, just adjust the materials as you wish again, just adjust the materials as well. So if you want to go for a chrome, you go ahead, turn the specular up. Um, Alright, so we have this and I'm um, going we'll to click on the lights and change surface to emission. We're going to turn this up. So we got some lights in the car. Alright, once you are done with that, we're going to go to our camera and you can mess with the focal length right over here. Go to camera, focal length, and pull back a bit more. And we're gonna mess with these materials because these are pretty bad. So, boom. See, that's already a lot. Looking a lot better just from that. And also this. Boom. Now, once you are done with all of that, um, that was pretty cool. Let's just finalize how we want our scene. So, once you are happy with everything, go up to File, go up to Render, Render Image, and it should be pretty quick. And now, you just want to go to Image, Save As, Core Chase. Alright, so here is our file, and like I said, the background is transparent because we are going to add our own uh, backdrop. So go ahead and go to Google and look for a nice image. Alright, so I think this is the background I'm going for. So now it's just a lot of trial and error. Follow along. I'm going to try out some of these filters. Let's see which one looks nice. So now we can add an explosion in the background. So that's the reason why we had to uh, duplicate these or else it would go on top of our cars. So we have an explosion here. And to make this dramatic, we could copy it, filter blur, Gaussian blur, Let's blur it out. And something like that. Go to overlay. Um, I'm pretty sure I have an explosion tutorial on the channel, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. But for explosions, you want to make them super bright, obviously. And uh, this needs a lot of dirt, right? Because it just looks really bland. We just got some dirt. It's pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Under the car. Um, we could also work on the Cop sirens here as well, so boom, white, and also blue. Let's change the color real quick. There we go. Go to overlay, duplicate it, and go to linear dodge. There we go. Um, what else could we add? Uh, you could add whatever else you want. Or I'm just gonna use this right here. So once you are happy with your composition. Click on the top most layer and hold shift, click on the bottom, control G, control J, control E, hide the group, hit control A, control J, delete this one, and control J on this one. Again, we're going to go to filter, we're going to go to filter, camera raw filter, and just wait for this to load. We could turn up the texture, as you can see. We 
once you're happy with this control J and the last thing we're gonna do is filter blur motion blur and we're gonna adjust it to the same angle as how the car should be moving so something like this yeah you want to use your eraser tool we're gonna erase the front of the police car and also the front of our Lambo right over here so it looks like it's kind of moving right that is about it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to check out our website gfxcomma.com and I hope this helps you and I will see you in the next video